I'm John Strohmeyer with Strohmeyer Law, and today we're answering the question, what is the estate tax? Well, the estate tax is how the United States taxes uh, sufficient wealth accrued at death. This confuses a lot of people because there are some other taxes that people do know about that interact with the estate tax. We'll get to those at the end. But in short, the U.S. estate tax is there to tax accumulated wealth held at death. So what people mostly know is that there is an exemption amount. Uh, it's currently in, here in 2020, $11.58 million per person. This goes up for every, every year for inflation. So it's going to keep taking up until we reach 2026. So from now and through the end of 2025, every year it'll go up probably a couple hundred thousand dollars per year. Then in 2026, the amount of that exemption is going to be cut in half. So it's not going to be cut in half based on the date, uh, the amount on 2025. It's going to be cut in half from 2011, where it was a $5 million exemption or $10 million exemption adjusted for inflation. It will instead be a $5 million exemption adjusted for inflation. So looking in our crystal ball, we can see the exemption amount will probably be about 12 and a half to 13 million dollars per person in 2025 but when we cut that in half and adjust for inflation in 2026 it'll probably be about six and a half million dollars per person of course this amount can change and with a new congress and a different president we could have this amount reduced the you know the point of this is not to get into politics but likely if we have a different administration house and senate we will probably see those amounts come way down. So how does the estate tax work? Well, the, the tax operates separately from the income tax. This is something that just looks at how much do you own on death, and if basically if you're above a certain amount, then you're going to pay a 40% tax on the amounts above that. That's a quick guide to it. It's not how the calculation actually works. So how do we calculate that tax? We total up everything you own, but it's not just things you own. It's also things that you have the power to control the disposition of. So if you gave away something, but you really held a few strings so that you could control who gets it on your death, then that'll be included. If you've uh, made certain gifts or transfers, like transfers of life insurance too close to death, then those will get brought back in. So we total up all of your assets on the date that you die, and we take a look at those valuations on the date that you die. We then back out certain uh, deductions. So if you are married to a US citizen spouse, gifts to that US citizen spouse will be deducted from your gross estate for estate tax purposes. So that'll lower the amount of assets that are subject to tax. Also, if you leave assets to certain charities, then those assets will, or the value of those assets will be reduced from the gross estate. Once we've got that, we can then back out uh, the exemption amount. So we'll, that's where that $11.58 million comes in. We're gonna back that out, but the calculation is actually a little more complicated than that because what we do is we figure out your gross estate and then we figure out the tax due on that estate. So even if you're under 11, million dollars say if you only have you know three million dollars worth of stuff well we still have to figure out the tax that would be due on that then we apply the tax credit to that amount so that 11.58 million doesn't get uh, used directly in this calculation what we do is we figure out the amount of estate tax that would generate and that's the amount of the credit so we figure out your gross estate we back out deductions we then calculate the tax on that then we apply the tax credit amount to that and whatever's left is what you have to pay so it's kind of a complicated system you know it's not just are you above 11.58 million it's how much do you have how much uh, should we include as well you also add back in previous taxable gifts to make sure that we're properly integrating the gift tax and the estate tax in this whole system and then we figure out the tax that's due so the 11.58 million ends up being a useful um, rule of thumb of whether or not we need to worry about the estate tax, but it's not used directly in that calculation. So bringing it all back together, the estate tax in the United States is meant to tax wealth 
owned by a person at their death. It is not, uh, it's a tax imposed on those assets. The calculation is more complicated than we'll get into right now, but in short, we look at what you have, we back out some exemptions and deduction, or back out some deductions, and then apply a credit amount to the tax generated by the state. Thanks for watching.